You are now listening to Crypto Files. Welcome back, everyone. And if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. If you end up liking the content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Today's video is a continuation of my first video regarding the A Star DAP staking. And I learned a couple new things about it, and I thought they were important enough to make a video. And I'm also answering two questions that I thought were really good that um, were submitted as comments for the first video. And before we get started, just remember anything I say in this video is not to be taken as financial advice. This is only for entertainment purposes. Let's get to it. So A star staking the first video I published a little over a week ago. Um, we had two questions that I thought were really good. Let's take a look here. So this is from L matrix. Where can you see the rewards generated? I've staked my A star and it has been four days now since I staked, but I cannot see any rewards. I thought this was a very, very good question because in my initial video, I thought that the A star dashboard, once we head over to DAP staking, would actually show the rewards that are being generated. And I was wrong. Um, we see here there's a claim button. I am participating in the um, community rewards DAP staking but it doesn't show my rewards. So um, you're not gonna know what your rewards are up until you hit this claim button. Once you hit the claim button, you don't hit it, you actually click it. Once you click the claim button, you're gonna go ahead and sign off for the reward claiming and I'm gonna sign that signature. You're gonna get this nice loading screen works very next gen and up on the top right hand corner there's going to be two messages the first message is going to be the hash uh information about the uh about the rewards being claimed and we'll just give it a second here okay there we go we see it has been completed at block hash and then the hash value and then right after that you should get a second message up on the top right hand corner and it will show the value of the rewards that were claimed so successfully claimed 1.547 a stars and that's how you know how many rewards you have accumulated um so it's not the best i think it'd be good if they actually include the rewards that have been generated in this um ui dashboard we have uh, you know information about the current era, the DAP count, um, and then unbonded um, um, funds, which I'll talk about in just a bit. It kind of relates to my second question. Um, submitted by iMac MSP, what is the best way to claim my rewards every day or after some days? Um, totally up to you because as you just saw, you decided when to claim them. I will note if you claim them, let's say a month from now, and um, they become available, they don't automatically get um, staked onto whatever DAP you're staking. So they go to your wallet and you have to add them. So once I claim my tokens, let's say I have 24 left, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the staking pool. So just a quick reminder, they don't automatically go into the staking pool. You have to go ahead and redeem them and then add them into the DAP staking. You can do that day by day or wait however, long, however much you'd like. Um, it is totally up to you. And I did not get a question from Gary Lodge, but a nice comment. You can stake all your vested tokens too before they are unlocked. In the original video, I stated that it was a maximum of 500. I am a dummy because I saw the 500 value here. And that's a minimum of 500 A stars to participate in adapt staking. You can actually stake all of the tokens that have not vested yet and have not been unlocked so that's really really nice because you don't have access to the tokens you can't withdraw them but you can go ahead and stake them uh, there's no better way to go about that and one important thing that i found out the hard way is what happens if you want to unstake or unbond your tokens you go ahead and you know you're staking your tokens one day you see an nft you'd like to purchase and you decide well, let me go ahead and unbond my a star tokens so i can go ahead and purchase that flashy nice nft um so you go into unbonding and then you select how many you want to unbond so i'll just say all of them and then click on start unbonding uh you'll get in a loading uh, screen just like you did when you redeem your rewards and then after that nothing happens literally um i can't find them in my wallet i go back into um the dap uh user interface and there's no more unbonding uh 
button to click and so i was like what the heck where did it go well i want to give you a heads up you see this section here it says unbonded funds zero a stars um it still doesn't even recognize that i've unbonded my a star tokens from the dap staking so i guess you click on chunks so there's nothing really that indicates that this section of the text is clickable other than the mouse cursor actually changing in its image so i'm going to go ahead and click on chunks and you are given additional information unlocking chunks so i guess every time you unbond your a star tokens um then you unlock a chunk and so this table shows when your funds will be eligible for withdrawal a maximum unlocking chunks of four i currently have two at the moment and so it shows the amount of a stars that are going to be unlocked and i can go ahead and withdraw them so i have 2000 a stars for the first chunk and available in arrow means that this era has to pass in order for me to be able to un, uh, unlock and withdraw those tokens uh, chunk number two is 1.5 k a stars and the arrow that has to pass is 16. so i have two arrows to go in order to pass arrow 16. if we take a look at the current era it's at 14. so just a reminder, if you're wondering what an era is, it's about 24 hours. And these are the blocks that are being created on the A-Star blockchain. Their transactions are being verified and blocks are found. And so these blocks, um, once a certain number of blocks uh, are found, then it completes an era. Usually it takes about 24 hours or a day. So we're on era 14. So my chunk uh, number one will be available after I pass era 15. Tomorrow it will be era 15. And so these will be available for withdrawal after tomorrow. For chunk number two, I have to wait until era 16 passes. So I have two eras to go. So two more days. That's how I kind of look at it. But very, very important. I thought I would highlight that. I learned the hard way. I thought to myself, let me go ahead and unbond some of my tokens. As you can see, I did it twice because I didn't know what was going on. So I'm like, let me withdraw 2,000 of them. And then I was like, wait, what's going on? Let me withdraw 1.5 and yeah it kind of drove me a little bit crazy nothing nothing indicates this is how it works um i don't think i saw any documentation either but heads up if you are bonding or staking your tokens and you want to unbond them it's going to take a while i want to say that i went ahead and unbonded these two chunks um probably last friday maybe saturday and today is wednesday so it takes a while and so when you unbond them just go ahead and click on chunks and you'll be able to see when they're available and how many arrows have to pass in order for you to withdraw them. So, um, yeah, lots of good information. I thought I would let you guys know what I learned and an update in a continuation to the original video. The APR now is at 11.7. The last video I made was probably around 16%. Not too bad. Hey, you're still getting a little bit above 10% on your tokens. And if they're currently not vested, you have nothing to lose, right? So let me know what you guys think about the video. And if you guys are staking your A-Star tokens, have you guys unbonded them? Um, how are you guys, uh, you know, what's your experience with the DAP staking on the network? And um, yeah, once again, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. I love interacting with you guys. So thank you for the questions and comments. And up until we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.